What's up guys? Today we are going to be taking a look at the new LotMax Shark Max. This is the largest 3D printer from LotMax. It can do dual extrusion and it can also be converted to a laser engraver in just a matter of seconds. So let's get right into the unboxing so you can see this thing in action. Alright, so check out the box. It's very similar to the other Shark Printers boxes. And I'm very excited to open this one up. So we got the knife. Let's see what we got here. All right. There we go. Okay. We get two full rolls of filament. That was super cool. <laughs> Appears to both be PLA filament. Uh, we got a couple little pieces of wood to laser engrave on. Because uh, as you can see right here, this is a two-in-one 3D printer slash laser engraver and dual extrusion printer. So we can do two separate colors. But here is the laser for when you set it up. As you can see, everything's labeled really nice. The laser cut foam, really cool. Uh, all our tools and everything for assembling this printer. My ethernet cable. Some, got some fly in there. All right, now here we got a couple. Oh, we got pieces of leather, a couple pieces of leather, and some wood to laser on. Very cool. Ooh, nice glass bed here. This thing looks nice. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Looks like that's about it in the box. All right, uh, everything here looks pretty nice. Looks like I'll just have to uh, mount it here, plug a couple things in, um, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop the SD card in the laptop, uh, take a look at the directions, and uh, put it together just using all the tools and everything we got here. The directions uh, will be on this SD card provided right here in the toolbox. So um, I'm gonna take a look at that, and we'll let's uh, time lapse when you're putting it together. All right, first things first, we gotta put this baby together, and it was really easy to put together. There's four screws that attach the base to the gantry, and then after that, it's just a matter of you put the spool holders on and then basically you just plug everything in, put the glass bed on, um, you know, turn it on and it's, it's up ready to rock and roll. Now the first print we did was just the one that's provided on the SD card. So anybody that buys this printer, this will come on the SD card. And this is just a butterfly. Um, it's a dual extrusion. It's really cool and you can know, move it around and stuff. And it actually printed pretty darn good here we got a ballast on once again we're doing the blade a different color than the handles and in this functions I'll show you guys that later came out really really good I'm very impressed with how that came out so after printing the ballast on I want to just print some bases because these always look cool on the timelines so we got just your regular standard circle base there um, and then here we do this kind of polygon rectangular octagon type thing also looks very very good i think uh everything so far at this point has been really good we've been able to print dual extrusion we've been able to print large items so now um it was time to try some more advanced materials now this is wood pla so it is actually like a wood sawdust type material mixed in with pla 
and it printed this stuff really good. A lot of times printers have problems with this stuff stringing really bad, um, but as you can see, it came out really, really nice. And then this is marble filament. Same type of thing, sometimes it's a little harder to print, um, but we got this like Prince of Darkness looking thing, um, and it also came out absolutely stunning. So now that we've printed all these other materials and stuff, we've printed big things, we've printed dual screws and things. Now I want to try a dual extrusion printer that was very big. So this is a Julia base, is what the name of this model is. And this is just absolutely ridiculous. I believe this took over two days to print. This is sped up a million times. Just so you guys, maybe, you know, otherwise we would be here for two days. But yeah, check this thing out. When it's all said and done, it actually turned out really really good. I've never had a dual extrusion print so big before. The one problem with that is they take a long time to run to so, Yeah, but I'm very happy with the results. Came out looking really nice. Okay, now next, these, um, this was something I just wanted to print for myself mostly. So I'm a big fisherman. I love fishing, especially this time of year. One thing I like is carp fishing, and there's these things called method leads, and this is actually a method lead that I ended up 3D printing and I, if you check my Instagram and stuff, you'll see I caught several fish. I caught catfish, trout, and carp with the 3D printed lure right there. So now that we've got everything working, we decided let's try out the laser engraver. And the laser engraver, first thing I did was I loaded up this Star Wars thing and I was like, I'm going to go big or go home. No, I didn't have the laser quite hot enough in the settings or the power up high enough. Basically, you just make it slower or faster and then you can adjust the diode um, it's got a little dial on it as well as making it go up and down slightly so this was the first one so I kind of was like you know kind of my test and then here I did I did an album cover and this one I did a little too dark so now I'm kind of starting to figure it out here and every material you do will be different too so it is a lot of trial and error uh, and it's a lot of fun. But once you get it dialed in, you, you'll get it spot on. This is just a really cool, like, exploited punk rock skeleton mohawk guy. And I think it also came out super cool. Some spots a little dark. I needed to kind of speed up the laser a little more. I had it going a little too slow. But for the most part, uh, I was getting it pretty good. And the, all, the only prints I did were the ones you guys see on here. So this is all me figuring it out as I went along with it. Um, but now that I got it dialed in pretty good, I wanted to try it on the leather. So it came with a couple pieces of leather provided, and I've never engraved on leather before. I just decided, you know, like, oh, let's give it a try. <laughs> and for my first time ever, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, the Jason Voorhees looks great. All right, guys, so I absolutely love this machine. So first things first, printing just regular single extrusion colors came out great. Um, so then with the dual extrusion, we did first off, we did the little test print that came on there and that came out really good. But then we wanted to go big or go home. So we made this awesome Julia vase. And then we also 3D printed this working Balazong trainer. Super cool. Um, and then I wanted to try some exotic filaments. So first off, we tried wood. I think uh, it, the wood came out great. We tried marble. Uh, this one also came out absolutely incredible. And then I've also printed copper. I actually caught some fish on these two. These are method feeders. Uh, the copper is heavier, so that way it sinks. This part you want to sink low where the bait comes, stays on the top. Um, but yeah, so everything was going great with the 3D printing. Um, and then the laser engraving turned out pretty good, but it definitely took a little tweaking. So the star, here's the example of the Star Wars thing I printed, um, as well as the punk rock mohawk guy. Uh, and then on the leather, we did the Jason Voorhees. I think these all came out really, really sick. I love this printer. I love how it's just like one little uh, button to turn it on. And I love also too how all the shark printers, they always have these awesome touch screens that you can pick up and move around. But overall, this machine is freaking huge. It's super awesome. I love the LED lights on it. I love that everything is solid metal. There's filament runout sensors on everything. Uh, it's very quiet. Um, but, you know, it just overall performs really, really well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Look for this to come out. All the links will be down below. And uh, thank you, LotMax, for sending me this to check out. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.